here in northern Arizona, a small change in moisture can have profound consequences for life. Our watersheds are stunningly beautiful in diverse microclimates, adapted to dry air punctuated by winter snows and summer monsoons. But the future of our land and water are at risk. Climate change is warming our region, altering precipitation patterns, stressing trees, and increasing demand for groundwater. Wildfires have grown more severe, leading to erosion and flooding. Population growth is outpacing Flagstaff's water supply. Our open spaces are being lost to suburban sprawl. Today we stand at a watershed moment. Decisions made in the coming years will dramatically affect our community's future. Watershed is an exhibition designed specifically for the Coconino Center for the Arts. Each of the five pieces was designed and created in parallel to activate the space, to create a sanctuary within the lobby of the building. Each piece in the show portrays a water-related aspect of our ecosystem impacted by climate change. I gathered my forms and materials from lands at the edge of Flagstaff's growth boundary. I used dyes and toners from tree bark, leaves, fungi, and walnut husks, pigments from charcoal, mud, and rusted barbed wire. So each piece is literally made out of the landscape which it's about. Watershed combines art and science. The work not only references climate science and ecology, but it also required months of research and development. The resulting process I came up with combines elements of primitive photography and experimental painting. For the first stage, I coat the canvas with light-sensitive chemistry known as cyanotype, a process used by botanists in the 19th century. The cyanotype layer on its own is a stark bright blue, very graphic and two-dimensional. Next, I add a second layer of botanical forms, using an original method I discovered of capturing images in earth tones using certain natural dyes gathered from the landscape. I also paint on layers of the forage natural materials, some of which react chemically with the underlying cyanotype to change its color, and some of which form transparent layers of dye and pigment. These tamp down the blue and add a level of nuance. Finally, I incorporate washes of acrylic paint. Unlike traditional painting, which sets on top, these layers soak all the way through the raw canvas. They add additional atmospheric depth and help bind the natural materials more securely to the canvas. The net result of all these layers is a much more three-dimensional work, simultaneously earthy and ethereal, with subtle nuances that reveal themselves when you stare at it or move around it adding the dimension of time to the piece. My work juxtaposes man-made geometry with organic natural forms. Each piece has a light and dark side and a bifurcation of some sort that references the disruption of a natural cycle by human activity. The museum fire flood ravaged East Flagstaff, so I wanted to acknowledge that event. I sculpted a tree killed by a wildfire into a monument by burning it further. It references the tenuous balance fire and trees play in protecting a watershed, where on one side you have rocks from a healthy stream flowing, and on the other side a catastrophic burn with actual debris that the flood carried down the mountain deposited at its base. The idea for watershed began in 2020 when I joined my neighbors in fighting a zoning change that would have permitted the first major development west of one of Arizona's most scenic drives. I began collecting materials from the site to make art about its eventual loss. Along the way, I learned about water issues and the importance of including sustainability in our city and county regional plans. I presented our case before the county commission, who voted unanimously against the zoning change. I'm grateful to all those who wrote letters or signed our petition. Each voice made a difference.
In 2022, Flagstaff citizens will begin drafting a new regional plan to govern our future growth. Can we succeed in prospering economically while also preserving the natural resources that make Flagstaff exceptional?